today's episode, I'm going to look at how to cross-pollinate uh, tomato plants. And to cross-pollinate, we need the pollen from the uh, from one plant, and the, that'll take the genetic material and add it to the flower of another plant. This is a good way to get new hybrids and eventually um, come up with new species of tomatoes. Um, a hybrid, you never know what you're going to get from the seeds. Uh, the second generation is generally when you find out how much information is going to be added and how much is going to revert back to the original one of the original plants. But the first thing I'm doing here is I am vibrating the tomato blossoms to get the pollen to fall out onto a black uh, piece of uh, cardboard with, with uh, electrical tape. That helps it to stand out so I can identify the pollen and, uh, and then take that and add it to the flower of the other plant. Uh, I have about six blossoms here and that should give me plenty of pollen to add to another plant. To cross pollinate you need a good immature flower. This one is borderline which as you can see it's just opening up and um, it hasn't started producing pollen yet. This could be a good candidate. Uh, that one could be a good candidate but I wouldn't use this one just because you have this open blossom above it and you risk cross pollinating. Uh, I might end up using this one. As you can see that one is just beginning to turn yellow. I might just go ahead and do both of those. Uh, both this one and this one. Um, as you see I've already cross pollinated the one above it so I might that one is so borderline, I'm just not sure if it's going to have pollen contamination. But we'll take a look at it and see. The first thing, always support the blossom. It's easy to break them off. In fact, I've, I've broken them off before. Support the blossom and break off some of these, just pinch off some of these uh, green leaves um, to give you good exposure to the, uh, to the blossom. And you can use a pair of tweezers, or you can just grab the, uh, the flower itself and just gently pull, and you can see it comes right off. Now I'm going to check that for pollen when I get done. But as you can see, the pistol is, is fully exposed, and now I just take my pollen from my, from my other tomato and uh, just get it all over the pistol. And I can see the pollen sticking to it. And that's how you cross pollinate. Now, in a couple of days, uh, it'll the tomato will still treat the uh, the blossom as though it's going through its full uh, blooming cycle. So it'll take about three, maybe four days, maybe even uh, five days for it to get to the point. See how this one is already bloomed and the pollen, uh, the flower the blossom has died, and then it will it will drop off and leave uh, a small tomato in its path. You know where it once was. See, this, that one is finished. Uh, so you won't know if, the, if if you're successful until you see the tomato begin to emerge. Uh, but that's how you cross pollinate. So these two, and I mark my branch so that I know which ones I've, I've cross pollinated. And those two are the same flower. Now that I have, now that I have done that, I am going to um, see if I'm getting pollen out of this branch, I mean out of this blossom, and just do that by vibrating it. And I don't see any pollen falling. No pollen. So that tells me this is immature enough to where it has not started uh, dropping pollen yet. So that should be a very good cross pollinated plant. And if you're wondering what this is, this is just a piece of cardboard with uh, black electrical tape on it. It's very hard to see how much pollen you've accumulated uh, unless you have a black surface. And here I can see it's hard to see in this. It's so fine, but if you look right here, 
there's some of the pollen left over, so there's enough to even pollinate another one. Um, to, to get the pollen, I just I've taken this cheap electric toothbrush, which cost about three bucks. I trimmed the bristles off of it so that I only have one cluster of bristles. That way I can concentrate on where I want it to touch. And just turn it on, it just does a little vibrating. And that small amount of vibrating will just knock all the pollen uh, out of the flower and, uh, and you can collect it.